known as the goddess of retribution towards those who commit sins, Nemesis condemns and punishes the hybris, but also acknowledges and rewards good deeds. This ambivalence is sometimes transposed in the Roman art by performing double representations of the goddess in the same sculptural ensemble. This is the case of one of the most accurate and beautiful pieces of Roman art discovered in Tomis, part of the well-known treasure of sculptures. The double hypostasis of the goddess in an edicula-shaped frame is beautifully worked in a single marble block. It is a votive monument dedicated to Nemesis by Caius Herenius Harito as the bilingual inscription in ancient Greek and Latin on his lower part shows. The two silhouettes are identical, each of them being accompanied by a measuring device, the ruler, in order to be able to quantify the good and bad deeds human perform so that she can apply the proper retribution for each of them. The quality of the artistic act and of the material in which it worked, the complexity and expressiveness of the monument indicate an extra-provincial provenance which chronologically fits the Savidian period, more precisely the end of the 2nd century AD, early 3rd century AD. The almond-shaped eyes and face features betray a micro-Asian inspiration model, probably used by the artist. The piece was probably executed in a large micro-Asian workshop and shipped towards Tomis along with other luxury import goods that were commissioned by some wealthy citizens. Not many representations of the goddess are known on the Romanian coast of the Black Sea. In Tomis there is another artifact depicting her, a marble plate poorly worked in a manner that is specific for the late local Roman provincial art. 3rd century AD.